it's raining right now. There's a little bit of rain going on and it is empty. Dude, been shooting a lot of Remington Yellow Jacket 22 through it. I don't think they're hollow points. They could be or could not be. It doesn't say anything about being hollow points on the box. That's three right there. But I now have four guns. I have the Diamondback DB15, the AR. I got the Sky CPX2. That's not the one on my hip. I don't know why I pointed there. I got this gun and I got the Six Hour 365 XL. That is the one on my hip. And I've lost count because I'm talking. So I'll know when no more rounds will go in here that I'm at 10. Let's see, am I at 10? It feels like I'm at 10 now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this gun was literally just in the corner. <laughs> And my peripheral vision picked it up and I was like you know kind of got to have it now it looked awesome I, I it's not that great quality wood you know but it looked nice it was not scoped I had to buy a little cheap little Simmons scope here one inch scope <laughs> and some rings and throw it on there I might try to put the scope on the AR but I don't know if this scope is strong enough to handle uh, 556 five, and 223 recoil it probably is but who knows get the fuck off my gun fucking bug yeah this looks like more like a pistol magazine <laughs> than anything else I used to have a Ruger SR 22 and it was a flawless gun also I had that back in like 2015 2016 and never had any issues with it it was a uh, double action and single action and it held, I think, 10 rounds or maybe even 20. I'm not sure. But the magazine kind of looked like this. And I'm just at the neighbor's house taking care of the animals, enjoying the um, weather. It was 92 earlier, but a couple of storms have since cooled it down. I would shoot the 365 XL, but right now, you know, I can't shoot off all of my hollow points and all my bald rounds are at the home so at my house I live like four houses down from here at my neighbors but my neighbors house is more apt for shooting when it comes to the land more hills you know knowing your target and what's beyond it no houses I'm just shooting at hills and some weak rocks if that that is it now I know bullets can ricochet off rocks but these rocks are rather weak and they're kind of off into the distance so if it ricochets it'll hit a deer or some shit <laughs> something like that but uh, I'm gonna try and put some more Remington through here some of this Remington yellow jacket ammunition all right let's see what we got this scope is right dead on, right out of the box. Like, I put the scope on and I've not had to twist it or anything in the rings. I mean, I twisted it to a line, but it is dead accurate. I love little squirrel guns like this. You know, if you ever need to live in the woods and kill your own food, you don't want to use a 223 or a 556 five, because 223s two, two, and 556s, five, five, the bullet tip is kind of the same size or barely larger than the 22 itself but the FPS is stronger and it would blow a squirrel up if you're needing to kill something just to get enough damage to it to put it down and not ruin the meat then you want a little squirrel gun like this <laughs> I hit that little fucking uh, little bull thistle plant I knocked it down I hit it on the really small root Wow Wow. Put it in safe for a second. <laughs> Dude, I hit that uh, bull thistle plant. I hit it on its really small stem at the bottom and it fell over. That stem is no more than like 
in my vision when it comes to width maybe about an eighth to a quarter of an inch tops probably around 20 feet away so about three yards out yeah that's crazy <laughs> what about uh, let's see what what else could I shoot at here mainly just a bunch of trees if I actually see a squirrel I'll try to shoot it but I don't see one you know it's like the jungle book up there you have mountain lions which I'm not gonna purposely try to kill a mountain lion I'm a cat guy I've got two awesome kitties at my house taking care of some kitties here um, and some kittens so I respect all cats I'm basically like the bastet of today you know what I mean if you look up what the ancient Egyptians especially the second dynasty of the ancient Egyptians did to cat harmers or cat killers even accidental if it was proven how do you prove things back then other than just he said she said anyway so even with heresy <laughs> if you were accused of even harming a cat or killing a cat accidentally or on purpose you were put to death all it took was somebody to be like hey if you don't do this for me I'm gonna tell them you're a cat killer that's the new that back then was the I'm gonna scream rape you know what I mean even though that's a more serious issue when it comes to human society uh, <coughs> I'm just making an innocent analogy here yelling somebody's a cat killer is equivalent to that today all I got to do is tell uh, people that you're this on Facebook and blah 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 they'll believe you right away problem is we have ways to prove things nowadays being in the age of Silicon Valley and the digital age but back then second dynasty Egyptians <laughs> under King Osorkan the second they did not have any augmented means of proving anything so cat harmers and cat killers were like at the top they were worse than murderers they were worse than rapists worse than anything even harming one on accident there's some cats having sex in the house right now <laughs> I don't know if you heard that that is crazy um, yeah so that's how that worked back then and I did not plan on this being a history lesson or anything like that but I'm an intellectual guy and somewhat esoteric so you know I ramble I've even lost count of my rounds again I think I'm at five so let's see shoot at that thistle plant again Got another one, wow. <laughs> this is accurate, right out of the box. I have not had to further zero the scope. I've not even had to take the caps off and try to zero it yet. And it's deadly accurate. Down goes the plants. This could be the last shot. I lost count, but. Nope. That was the last shot. 